Hey, Subway so here, and today I want to teach you guys how to remix your songs in less than a minute. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't really time it. We'll see. So, like I said, today we're talking about remixing songs for your videos. Whether you're extending it or shortening it, doesn't matter. This is gonna be a nice, easier, faster way of doing it. The only program that you do need is Adobe Audition, just because that's the way we're doing it. Rather than that, your editing software can be whatever you wanna use. I prefer using Adobe all the way through just because I have the Creative Cloud subscription and it makes workflow a lot easier. But, like I said, just for this version, you do need Adobe Audition to do the actual remix. Let's get right into it. So in Premiere Pro right here, I have my project, I have my video file and my audio for the video file, which is talking. Now, what you would usually do is grab your song, throw it on the project timeline, and you'd see, hey, it doesn't fit all the way through. So the old fashioned manual way of doing it would be listening to the song, finding out where you'd wanna cut it and extend it or duplicate it. You turn around, cut at one bar, cut at the next bar and copy that section or segment over and over and over until you extended the song enough to fit your video. So just me rambling on, you can see how time consuming that is. I wouldn't say so much waste of a time, but just time consuming. It takes a long time to do it. The newer, faster way of doing it is right here. Just make sure you're clicked inside your timeline. Come up here to edit, edit in Adobe Audition and go ahead and select sequence. This one, you can name it whatever you want. I usually just leave it as is and just go ahead and hit okay. Once Audition has pulled, uh, pulled everything up, it basically has everything from the Premiere Pro project. So it has their video file right here. It has the audio of that video file, which is me talking. And then it has a song. Right now, we're only gonna remix the song. So make sure you have the song highlighted. And what we're gonna do is come up to properties. If this isn't dropped down already, just go ahead and drop down the tab that says remix. And then there's this button that is not highlighted. Go ahead and hit it, enable remix. Now it's analyzing. So for anyone curious, basically what this is doing while it's analyzing is basically essentially what you would do if you were listening to the song, seeing how fast it is, beats per minute, the tempo, uh, what time key signature it is, how long it is, where's the best spots to cut. That's basically what it's doing for you so it'll be easier to mess with it later. So now that it's done, you can see two ways to tell. You can either see right here, it says disable remix. That's because we're making it where we can remix it. And then another quick way to see is they'll have these staircase lines at the beginning and the end. What we wanna do is go ahead and just click it and drag it to as long as we want. Usually you're gonna look for trying to make it match the end of your song, but here's a quick tip. If you notice, as soon as I let it, there's a little bit of gap. The reason for that is being that some songs are longer and some songs are shorter, faster, slower, and that causes where some songs aren't gonna exactly end on your video. My personal tip, what I like to do is go ahead and actually overextend it. If you overextend it, what it's gonna do is give you this extra cushion space. And to me, that's perfect for me because I can always slowly fade this part of the song out. So that's personally what I like and what I go for. Quick tangent though, if you really wanted to, you can come down to the advanced section and you can stretch it to the exact duration and edit with these. But I keep it very simple, basic, exactly what Adobe Audition does out of the box. And it's worked for me 99% of the time. Like I said, we're only doing the song today. So we have the song remix. And now what I like to do is go ahead and come up to multi-track, export to Adobe Premiere Pro. Me personally, I keep everything as a stem. It says export each track as a stem. If you don't know what a stem is, stem is basically right here. I have two separate audio tracks. I have my voice and then I have the song. Keep it as a stem, it's gonna make sure that the voice is one separate audio track and then the song is another separate audio track. I personally like to do this because it keeps the flexibility open. If for whatever reason I need to change a song or mess with just a song later on, I can still do that in Premiere Pro. If I did it as one session, when you mess with that audio file, you're gonna mess with the video and the song. So I like the flexibility of being able to do anything that I want after the fact. So I keep it export each track as stem and then we can change that to whatever we want if we really wanted to, but I'm good with everything as is, so go ahead and export. So, once we come back in Premiere Pro, you'll see it'll have, it has two new audio tracks. Like I said, this was a stem track, so this is the original song, we don't need that anymore. And this is the uh, voice track that I don't want anymore, I wanna keep my original voice tracks, which are up here. 
So that is exactly how you can remix your uh, songs for your videos a lot faster than the old fashioned manual way. It's nothing new, Adobe didn't come out with any new software or anything, it's a pretty old trick in the, the toolbox. But if you guys haven't seen this before, I'm glad you guys stumbled upon this video because it definitely helps out. If you guys have seen this before or you already know about this, I hope I just do some spots differently so now you have more options to do the same exact thing. It's definitely anything that you can do to make your editing workflow faster allows you more time to be on the creative aspect of editing instead of the time consuming aspect of editing. Hopefully this helps. I hope you guys like this video and do everything YouTubers tell you to do at the end of the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.